Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. In today's video, we are going to study levels of structural organization. That is the topic coming under introduction to human body. That is unit one of human anatomy and physiology. This unit you have studied in the semester one. So we know that what is physiology and what is anatomy. This one we already covered in the last video. If you don't know the introduction regarding the anatomy and physiology, you can check the description. There I put one link for that video. You can check it there. Okay. So in this video, we will study levels of structural organization. So we know that what is anatomy and what is physiology. What is anatomy? Anatomy is the branch of science which deals with the study of structure of body parts. It is the study of structure of body part. That is the anatomy. So what about the physiology? Physiology is the study of functions of body parts. It is the study of the functions of body parts. That is the physiology. So physiology and anatomy are entirely two different disciplines. Anatomy deals with the study of structures. It's the study of structure of body parts. What about the physiology? Physiology is the study of functions of body parts. So both are different. But normally we are using these two terms together. Anyway, these two terms are entirely different disciplines. Now we will go through some branches of anatomy and physiology. This one we already covered in detail in the last video. Uh, you can check the description for that one. Here we just mention, we will just mention the names of the different disciplines. Okay. So anatomy branches, one is embryology, developmental biology, cell biology, histology, gross anatomy, surface anatomy, system, systemic anatomy, uh, then regional anatomy, imaging anatomy, pathological anatomy. These are the different branches or sub-disciplines of anatomy. Embryology, developmental biology, cell biology, histology, gross anatomy, systemic anatomy, regional anatomy, surface anatomy, imaging anatomy and pathological anatomy. What is the definition of these things? All the things we already covered in the last video. In the branch of physiology, different branches of physiology are neurophysiology, endocrinology, then cardiovascular physiology, very important, immunology, respiratory physiology, renal physiology, exercise physiology, pathophysiology. Okay, one more time. Neurophysiology, endocrinology, cardiovascular physiology, immunology, then respiratory physiology, renal physiology, exercise physiology and pathophysiology. These are the different branches of anatomy and physiology. Okay. This one we already covered. Now, if you don't know the discipline, if you don't know the definitions of these things, you have to check that video link. Okay. Now we will move to the, this video that is levels of structural organization. What are the levels of structural organization? How the body is organized in different levels? That is how human body is organized in different levels. That is the levels of structural organization. So the different levels of organization of human body are chemical level, cellular level, tissue level, organ level, system level, organism level. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Total six levels are the first one is chemical level. That is the most basic le basic level. And the last one is organism level. That is the highest level. Okay. In between the cellular level, tissue level, organ level, uh, then system level, then organism level. Okay. So th these are the different levels of human body of organization, how the body is organized in the human body. So first one, we will move to the chemical level. Before going into this one, we you have to think about a book when we are talking about a human body. This is human body is just like a book. Okay. So chemical level represents is the most basic level. So chemical level represents the letters in the book that is the chemical level this is the most basic level in the chemical level two or more atoms join together and form molecules like carbon monoxide 
oxygen, nitrogen, etc. Next level we are going to deal with is cellular level. Cellular level. Cellular level is the basic structural and functional level. Okay? So most basic structural and functional unit of human body is cell. So this level is called basic structural and functional level of human body. That is the cellular level. Cellular level. Okay? Next one is tissue level. Tissue level, third level, chemical level, cellular level, tissue level. In tissue level, these are a group of cell, group of cell which work together to perform a particular task, particular function. Okay, these are the group of cell which will function together to perform a particular function, a special function that is called tissue level. These are the group of cells which function together to perform a particular function. Next one is organ level. In organ level, different tissues are combined together. Different tissues are combined together to perform a particular function. That is the organ level. Organ level examples are heart, lungs, kidney, Okay, these are different organs. Okay, these are the different organs. They will perform a particular function. They are made by combining different type of tissues together. So that they will perform a particular function. That is the organ level. Next level is system level. That organ system level. Organ system level is organ system level is just like cardiovascular system. Okay, that is completely related to heart and blood vessel on blood circulation. That is a cardiovascular system, that is organ system level or respiratory system that is related to respiration. Another one is excretory system. Okay, these are the different systems in the human body. That is a different system. They will perform a particular task, particular function. That is the organ system level. Next one and last one. One is organism level. It is the highest level of level of organization. In this, different organ systems are combined together and organism is formed. So this is chemical level represents letters in the textbook. Okay. So it represents letters in the book. Next one is cellular level. Cellular level represents words. The letters combined together to form words okay so letters will combine together will and will form words this word is represent in the word in the book represents cellular level book is represented by the organism next one is tissue level tissue level in tissue level this words combine together to to form a sentence okay a sentence will sentence in the book represent tissue in the body. Next one is organ level. Organ level is paragraph. Organ means represent the paragraph in the book. Paragraph in the book. Then system level. That is chapter. Chapter. Different chapters are there in a book. So each chapter represents each organ system. Next one is organism level. That is complete a book. Okay. A book. That is the book. Okay. Hope you understood this one. So chemical level is the most basic level that is represented by letters in the book. Next one is cellular level. This is the basic structural and functional level because cell is most basic structural and functional unit of human body. This is letters combined together and form cellular level that is uh, words. Words in the book is represented by cellular level then tissue that is sentence. Sentence in the book is represented by tissue in the body. Organ level that is paragraph then organ system that is chapter then organism that is complete organism that is book. Okay. Hope you understood this one. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video please make thumbs up and also subscribe the channel. Thank you.